So who was behind the latest attacks against Israel, and what do they mean for the future? Joining us with more is Lieutenant Colonel Sarit Zahavi, CEO and founder of the Alma Research and Educational Center. Thank you so much for being with us. Now, starting with the fact that, that we saw two attacks more or less simultaneously, do you suspect any sort of coordination between northern and southern militants? This could be an option that I cannot overrule, but I don't have any proofs for that for now. Mm. And, and then, you know, this is not the first recent security incident, of course, on the northern border of Israel. Do you predict a serious escalation anytime soon? Actually, and maybe it's a wishful thinking, I would want to believe that uh, this was uh, the end of this round. Let's put it this way. I'm not sure when, when the, first, the, the second round would begin or the next one. So, so do you believe then that this is Hezbollah, that this latest incursion was another Hezbollah attack? Yes, I believe it's Hezbollah. We know that Hezbollah is holding uh, two units in the Syrian Golan. One of them named the Golan Portfolio is the one that I believe responsible for this attack. Uh, the Golan Portfolio mission is to plan, gather intelligence and carry out a terrorist attack exactly like this one by using a Syrian proxies on the border, locals proxies on the border. So are these not necessarily militants from Hezbollah, but, but rather, you know, untrained individuals? No, they are affiliated to Hezbollah, they are subordinate to Hezbollah, but they are not Lebanese. I see. All right, yeah, because, you know, the IDF outpost that was targeted uh, is essentially unmanned, and this comes after alleged Hezbollah suspects recently attempted to infiltrate the border in broad daylight. You know, could it be that neither of these attempts, again, were conducted by, by the best of the best that Hezbollah has to offer? I wouldn't think so. First, I think these were two completely different incidents. The first one from the Lebanese border is an incident that we don't understand completely uh, what exactly happened there. The second one from the Syrian border yesterday night is very clear. A uh, few, uh, as I've said, proxies of Hezbollah were coming uh, to the border trying to put some uh, explosives over there in a way that it could have damaged not necessarily a position, but maybe an IDF mobile patrol. Mm. Now, if, if we look at, at some of these recent attacks, you know, is it possible, uh, or rather, is it, is it possible that they were meant to fail in, in a sense? That, uh, that, that they were meant to fail, so just like, again, attacking in broad daylight or this uh, attack against an unmanned uh, outpost the, w was meant to really no. kind of save face on Hezbollah's side but not provoke Israel into anything larger? I wouldn't take uh, the issue of daylight as an indication to anything. Last year, it was also an attack on daylight, and uh, they missed uh, only in an inch, and we were very lucky. Uh, I, I believe that uh, at least the second attack, which we can understand, is a deliberate attack, and the target were IDF soldiers. In these two times, uh, nothing happened. So IDF succeeded, and all this... Uh, uh, preparedness of the forces was very effective, and I hope it, it will be still effective in the future. It doesn't necessarily mean that Hezbollah didn't mean to harm anybody. All right. Now, earlier you mentioned that you hope, you know, that this is kind of the, the winding down of hostilities, uh, of the recent flare-up in, in hostilities between the IDF and Hezbollah. Uh, but Hezbollah is vowing retaliation for the death of one of their militants in Syria. Uh, allegedly by an Israeli airstrike, and, and so far, neither of these past two attacks, assuming that they are Hezbollah, were successful. So, you know, are, is this the winding down, or is there more to come? You know, Hezbollah is uh, building its own narrative, and it can find any excuse it wants to stop this round. It's in the hands of Nasrallah that, by the way, will speak uh, tomorrow on, on Wednesday night. So, uh, We'll wait a little bit and see. Uh, we had, like, like last year, that Hezbollah tried to attack IDF soldiers, told one narrative that was, that was not true about killing of IDF soldiers, and eventually it was the end of the round. So it's an option, and I hope that this, this uh, will be the same this time, because there are a lot of pressures on Hezbollah, and I think that Hezbollah is very committed to its promises uh, to retaliate, but I'm not sure it's committed to the success of the retaliation. I see. All right. Now, final question. You know, why do you believe that the IDF exposed this attack 
on video and not the previous attack? Well, first, in this attack, actual terrorists were killed. And you can see that very clearly. In this attack, there is a fence where you can see very clearly that they were approaching the fence. I don't know exactly how the videos of the IDF looks like in the, in the previous attack and what's their quality. But uh, here they had a very clear video that shows the incident. All right, Lieutenant Colonel, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you.